President Trump was also quite publicly snubbed by Boris Johnson, the Conservative Party's own sort of Trump-like figure who has recently declared his candidacy for prime minister now that Theresa May is stepping down. Uh, Trump went out of his way to praise Boris Johnson by name on his way to Britain. He praised Johnson as someone who would be excellent. I know Boris. I like him. I think he would do a very good job, meaning as the next British prime minister. The president all but endorsing Boris Johnson for prime minister on his way to Britain. Soon thereafter, Trump arrived in Britain, and Boris Johnson said no, he would not meet with Trump. He didn't have time. I mean, part of the public welcome that Trump got from the people of Great Britain uh, also included these comments from Boris Johnson about Trump being projected onto the side of Big Ben. And it doesn't exactly look like the way you remember Big Ben because it's covered in scaffolding right now, but this is Big Ben. And um, a a after Trump praised Boris Johnson, basically anointed him to be his choice for the next British prime minister, this is what greeted Trump in London. I think Donald Trump is clearly out of his mind. I think that's a sensible way to proceed. You can't ban people going to the United States in that way or indeed to any country. And what he's doing is playing the game of the terrorists and those who seek to divide us. That is exactly the kind of reaction they hope to produce. And I have to say, when Donald Trump says that there are parts of London that are a no go areas, I think he's betraying a quite stupefying ignorance that makes him frankly unfit to hold the office of president of the united states uh, i would invite him to come and see the whole of london and, and take him around uh, the city except that uh, i wouldn't want to expose londoners to any unnecessary risk of meeting donald trump says at the end there he would not want to expose any londoners to the unnecessary risk of meeting donald trump